So most of the people make this easy mistake creating website using generate press theme. You can see the default design when you install generate press theme. You have some blog posts on the website, but this default design doesn't make any sense. And that's why your AdSense revenue is low. Because in case your blog post rank in Google search engine, somebody come to read the blog post, they will read the one blog post, but they will never read the another blog post. Because your website looks absolutely terrible. And I understand it is not your mistake. Maybe you are not very technical, but in today's video, I'm going to explain you how you can transfer your websites from this to this, which looks much, much in proportion. Somebody come to your website, they really see that it's a professional design. And guys, it is not really hard to have this kind of design. You can see here, very nicely created blog posts here. On the right side, we have this section, interesting read, so they can read the interesting blog post. Then we have categories, and then you can see, we have this blog post with title, featured image, and then some description. And then later you want, you can add the categories of a blog post. There's another interesting thing. If you go to default design, you can see there's no option to share. And when somebody read one blog post, they just go away from your website and they'll not remember it. But today we are going to add the social icons so people can share your blog post with their friends or their social media network. So your AdSense revenue will really, really increase. You have higher user engagement on your blog website. And let me show you the inner page. This is the inner page with default settings. It looks something like this. And there's a new post page I created. You can see it looks really, really nice. And then we have social share buttons here. People can share on Facebook, Twitter, email, or they can save on Pinterest. So guys, if all this sounds good to you, let's do this and increase your ad revenue, have more user engagement on your blog website because this design is not at all acceptable. And because you're watching my channel, so why not? I'm going to explain you all these tricks. I don't want you to have a website like this. So let's do this and transform your website from this to this in just few minutes. Okay, so the first thing we need to do here, you can see this is the default setting from Generate Press and WordPress. So it will display all the latest posts on the home page. And here you can see I create a new page, we display all the recent posts, and then we can define some other posts which you want to display on the home page. So to do that, what we'll do, first of all, we'll create a new page. So go to pages and click on add new and we'll say it home page and then just publish this page. And what we need to do now is go to settings and then click on reading. And now you can see here by default, your home page displays your latest post. What we're going to do, we're going to select this option, static page. And then for home page, we're going to select and then choose the home page we just created and then save changes. So now if I go back to my website, I refresh the page. You can see our new page is added here. So now homepage setup, let's start working from top to bottom. First we work on the header, then we work on our homepage, and then we will work on sidebar. I'm trying to make this tutorial very easy so anybody can follow this tutorial, but if you still have any issue, please don't hesitate to comment. I answer all the comments on my channel. Okay, so to change the header, we'll click on customize, and this is the customizer for generate press theme. You can see here on the right side is the preview. So whatever change we make here on the left side, you can see the direct effect of those changes on the right side. So first of all, click on site identity. You can see here my logo is displaying here and then this site title also displaying. In most of the cases, I suggest you do not display your site title because you already have logo of your website. If you do not have logo of your website, then it is totally fine to display your site name. So in my case, I'll just hide the site title. And then you can see logo is really big. So what I will do, I'll scroll the page and then from this slider, I'll choose the logo width. So I think this looks really nice. I'll make it smaller and then I publish the page. And now if I load my website, you can see site is already looking much better. And just to compare, I will open the reference website. We have it here. You can see this is our reference website and this is the website we are working on to make something like this. Logo is a little bit smaller here. Here I kept it a little bit bigger. You can choose accordingly how big you want this logo to be up here. So now we'll do very easy things with the menu items. So they will look a little bit bolder. So we'll go back to customizer. We'll go back and then we go to typography and then click on add typography. And now we need to select the element we want to target. So I'll click on this drop down. And then I select primary menu items. And then what I will do, I will select font weight from here to say 600. And you can see the fonts are bolder now. And then I click on publish. If I go back to website, refresh the page, you can see the fonts are looking bolder. And our website header is already looking real nice. Okay, second thing what we need to do is, you can see here, this is a reference website. Everything is like very symmetric and there's no background behind this blog post. And here you can see there's a background gray here and there's some white background in the widget. And this small section also got white background. So let's make it symmetrical. So we'll go back to customizer and then we click on layout and then we click on container. So now what we'll do, instead of using separate containers, we'll say one container. So you can see now everything is one container. 
and then we click on publish. If I refresh my blog website, you can see everything is one container. But we still have some of this background here. So what we'll do, we'll go back to customize. And guys, I'm trying to show you everything step by step because I want you to really to learn all these things. Not just you follow one tutorial and then if in future you want to change something, then you again have difficulty to find the option to change something. So when you're watching this video, I really want that you learn something nice and improve your web skills. So we'll go back to customizer and then we click on colors here. And now we choose this drop down body. And then from body, you can see we can select the body color from here. So I click on background, then I'll choose this white color here and then click on publish. If I go back to my blog, if I refresh the page, you can see everything is white now. Looks real nice. Guys, is it hard for you to follow or not? Let me know. And guys, one more important thing, if you really want to support the small creator like me and because I create all these amazing videos for you, which are really easy to follow and they really improve your web skills. So please do not forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video and share it with somebody who want to create their own blog website. And guys, I create so many interesting videos which will really improve your web skills. So please like the video, subscribe to the channel and share with somebody. I will really appreciate that. Subscribing is totally free. It will not cost you any money. So why not? It will improve my morale and I will be really motivated to create these kind of videos in future. Okay, let's go back and try to work on this blog page. So now these are reference sites. So we need to add this heading recent post, one line here and then we need to add this beautiful design here. And guys, just to make things very simple for you, we are going to use two plugins for this tutorial. One will be which will add this blog post design here and second is the social share icon plugin. So what we'll do, we go back to WordPress dashboard and then go on plugins and click on add new. So first plugin we're going to add which is really lightweight plugin and this whole website is really lightweight because we're using the block builder. So we'll search generate press and then we install first plugin generate blocks and click on install now and then click on activate and then we'll go back again to plugins and then click add new. Just to save time, we are going to install both the plugins at the same time and then search your social media share and then install this first plugin social media share buttons and social share icons. Click on install now. Once installed, click on activate. So let's go back to our home page. So this is our home page. We are going to add the blog post design here. So click on edit page and you can see the page is blank. So what we'll do, we click here on this plus icon. Now you can see this option generate blocks. This is appearing here because we installed the plugin generate blocks. So it will help us to create our website. So what we'll do, we we'll click here query loop and then you can see query loop is added here. So we'll select this two column and featured image section. You can see our blog posts are added here. So what we'll do, if we compare with this design, we have featured image and title and everything else we will delete. So we'll select query loop from here. So what we'll do now, we'll click on this setting icon and now you can see here, you can define how much post you want. I'll keep it four because I have just four example posts on my website. In your case, you can choose more posts also here and do not forget to update the options once you make any changes. Okay, now we don't want this date and this text here. And guys, I want to give you an important and useful tip. When you're working block builder, you can always click here on list view and you can see how these elements are arranged on the page. So you can see this is a query loop. If I click on this arrow, you can see inside there's a grid and then this post template. If I click post template, we have our image, post title, post date and the description. So we just need image and the post title. So what we'll do, we'll hold on this post date, click and remove the post date. And then we'll do same with the post description. Remove post extract. So now you can see we remove this thing. And now you can see here the image sizes are very different. So what we can do, we can just click on image and on right side you can see there all sections are here. So now click on block settings. And we will define the width of the image here. For example, I will keep it 300 pixels and for the height, I will say 150 pixels. In some cases, you might see the image are looking stressed. So what you can do from object fit, you can choose cover. So what we'll do, it will automatically adjust the images. Okay, looks real nice. So next thing we need to do is changing this title. It's looking very big and underlined. So what we can do, just click on this title and you can see the settings are changed. So what we can do now, We'll decrease the font size. You can choose the font size according to your need. I will keep it 20 pixels. And for the colors, because it is a link, so I'll choose a link color and then I'll say black. So you can see the color is black right now. If you want to change line height, you can choose small or medium or large from here. I'll leave it by default. If you want, you can keep it large. You can also change the letter spacings between the letters. So if you want small or medium or large, choose any one of them. Medium looks real nice to me. I'll keep it medium 
and maybe I'll do font size like 19 pixels looks much better okay I'll update this page now and let's check our new page it looks something like this you can see it's looking already much better so if we compare with the new one you can see here they look much cleaner and what we are missing here you can see there's a background behind this image is much smaller so now what we need to do is we need to work a little bit with this section so we'll go back here and we select this post template here and then we click on spacing and we'll select all the spacing and then we'll change it to zero so you can see there's much more space here and next thing we'll do from background you can see there's some background here we we'll select it and make it white so there's no background here and if I update the page and then if I go back here refresh it you can see they're looking much better and I want to give you pro tips in some cases if you want to play with width and height this is a very safe option you can just remove the width option from here and then set height to for example 200 pixel like how I did with my website I shown you and if I update and if I go back if you refresh you can see the image is much bigger and this is really nice balance so I want to share with you what I did on this website if you want to do the same choose the height 200 pixel here and then use the object fit to cover okay start looking real nice so let's do one more thing just close this option from here you can see this is a page title here. we don't want this page title display here because we're going to create a heading here so what we can do we can disable element content title once we disable it and when I update it and if I go back to home page I refresh it you can see there's no page title here so instead what we can do we can add a heading here click on this plus icon and then add a heading Sometimes when you click the heading it just added in the end of the page so what you can do you can just click this move up this heading will move to the top of the page so now you can add recent post then we'll add a separator here so click on plus icon and search separator and then we'll drag it and drop it just under the post and we'll leave everything by default and then click on update so now if I go back to my website I refresh it you can see we have the recent post and we have some spacer here if we compare from here it looks really similar at any point you can select this recent post and click on the settings icon and you want to change anything here you can just use all these options to change it for example if you want to align them in center you can use something like this on the right side something like this or we'll keep it to left side and then font weight if you want you can change it to like bolder font or semi bold font something like this you can even change the font size I think 25 is really looking nice so that's how you can change this text I know we still have underline with generate press theme it's a little bit complicated how you can change the underlines so to remove the underline you need to go back to customizer and then go to general and then here underline links instead of always use on hover I give the suggestion to generate press theme please change this option move it in typography or somewhere else but in general it doesn't really make sense and then click on publish so if I go back to my website, if I refresh page, you can see we have this nice blog post arrangement here. We have four posts here, which looks really nice. Okay, let's compare with our website. What else we need to do? So we have added recent post, separator, and the section here. Now we need to add this you might like and this other post design here. So we'll go back to the page again and what we need to scroll the page and then again click on this plus icon and then add a headline. And then you can give any name to this headline for example you can say you might like and then we will click again here on plus and we'll use a separator again and then we'll add a separator and you can leave the separate default there's some options here you want to change some settings you can select the separator from here and then click on settings here and then you can have default like view wide line or you want you can have dots also but I leave it to default it looks real nice and then we click on plus and we'll again use the query loop and the query loop is there now let's see how we did it on the example website so here you can see the three posts we have featured image we have title we have date and we have the text here we'll use this two column featured image but I'll show you how you can make it in three columns so now you can see this two column so what you need to do is here is again click on list view I know block builder is sometimes a little bit hard to work it's not as easy as elementor page builder or visual builder but guys it's really lightweight page builder and once you start using it you will be comfortable using this block builder and this is really lightweight so that's really good for website speed and SEO okay so once you selected this query loop again click here on settings icon and now choose how much post you want I will say three posts or you can say six posts depending on how much post you want on the page 
and then I will click on this drop down and I click on grid and then I click on post template and now I will choose block settings and I will choose 33% so now you can see there are three posts here and under the same thing I click on the image and then I will say height 100 pixels and then from object fit I will choose cover so images are not stressed same thing again for what we did with recent post select this text and then font size let's say 13 pixels not looking very good let's say 17 pixels and then it is fine but the text is really long so what we can do we can select this text we can double tap on this text and then we scroll this right side and from length of the excerpt we can say 20 words so it's much smaller and I think by mistake we have added two separators here so what we'll do we'll go back here and select this one right click and delete this separator so we have just one separator okay we did one more mistake we'll say you might like and then update now if you go back to the page and we refresh it you can see we have you might like section here if you compare with this one it looks very similar just the height and width is different you can choose it depending how much you want it to be okay so we're almost done i just want to show you how you can add elements on a page using block builder and generate press theme let's have this last section which is three and then we'll move on the right side widget and social share icons so we'll go back again here and this time we we'll click on plus icon and we'll choose the patterns guys patterns really useful feature in block builder you can choose the pattern and you can add those pre-made design to your website for example the feature patterns you can add any of those to your page in our case we'll add this featured one you can see here this used to display pricing table but i changed it to display the category options you can do the same thing go to list view and then if you don't want the paragraph or anything you can just delete it so i select this list here and then click on the three dots and then remove list same way you can do this both of these options here too go to first column and then you will see this list click on it and then remove list we'll do the same with the third column select the third column and then click on list and remove list and you can change this text to any category you want on your website for example you can say workout or anything depending on niche of a blog you can change different links here and then this button here you can just double click here and you can say view all and then you can add the link to this button which will go to the category page and you want to add some space between two sections you can hover here and click on add block and then search here space so when you add the spacer here there will be some space added if i update here and we go back to our home page if we refresh the page you can see we have added all this section light up page looks really fine let's work on the right side so what we need to do is get rid of search section or what we can do we can move it to the lower side like i did with this example website and then make it a little bit better we just need to give black background to this widget areas and chain a little bit of font size so to work on this widget bar we need to go back again to customizer you can click on customize and now click here on colors and from colors scroll the page click on sidebar widgets and for background i choose this one as black feel free to choose any color which you want which looks good on your website and then click on publish you can see on the right side the design has changed okay now let's do one thing because you can see the lot of things which you do not need so get rid of these things which you do not need how you can do that we'll click this back arrow and then we'll go to widgets and then we select the right side bar and then from here what we do not need we'll just read them for example we have this empty section we don't need this which is this one so i'll just click on this one right and then remove group this one is deleted and you can see i have so many things here just delete which you do not need so i'm going to quickly delete all these things which you do not need you can see we have meta nobody use meta on your blog website like like seriously who want to log into website check the entry feed comments feed it's just like waste of space so what i will do i'll just right click and delete this widget too and then you can see we have categories here and then we have categories again the top here so i'll remove the duplicate options and then we have archive selection guys not really important nobody goes on your website and check how many posts you published last month i want to read the post in last month so just remove it just take extra space try to keep your website neat and clean so people are not confused and also you're going to put ads on your website so make some space for the ads too recent comments nobody check recent comments we're going to read this okay now we'll publish just to see how it looks like 
we will open our website in new tab and you can see here this is the website how it looks and let's compare with the example website looks very similar guys just we need to change the colors here to change the color of this section what normally we can do we can select this widget and then click on this three dots and then show more settings and we go to color and then we can change the text color but when i do this select to white it's not changing the color so what else we can do we can go back but before going back make sure you publish because your change is gonna be uh, not save go back and then one more time and we go to colors and then we go to sidebar widgets and then here the link text from here we're going to change it to white so now you can see all the text is white and if you want you can change the whole color also for example whole color i will say gray so when somebody hold on this they will be like gray looks really nice and then we publish and if we go back refresh the page you can see the blog looks really nice it looks very similar to our reference blog and then if i want to change this size of text i can select the widget and we'll directly go back to the option there click on these three dots show more settings go to styles and then from typography i can choose it small you can see text is small now or if it's too small choose it to medium or large whatever you want i'll keep it small and then i'll publish it and same thing we can do with categories i select the category section here three dots show more settings then choose text choose it white you can see the heading is white now and guys if you're still with me in this tutorial i'm sure you're enjoying this tutorial and you're learning a lot of things just we are going to last step which should really change your adsense revenue because when you add the social share options on the website people can share with their friends family and social media and you can generate more money so we are almost there guys and if you're learning something video please support small creator like me on youtube don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel and please share this video on social media that will help the channel grow and a lot of people can have access of this nice content and subscribing totally free and will really make me understand that you guys are learning something new and all these efforts I'm making, they're worth it. So I really appreciate you subscribe to the channel. So remember we installed the plugin ultimate social media icons, click on ultimate social media icons. Then you can select here which icons you want to show on your site. Guys, this is really easy plugin, that's why I've chosen this plugin. So choose which one you want to appear on your website. I'll choose Instagram and WhatsApp too because it's really easy to share things with the friends on Instagram and WhatsApp. If you want, you can choose Telegram too. And then click on save. And then what do you want to do this icon to do? So leave everything by default. It works real nice. And then where shall they be displayed? For example, you say floating over your website pages. Then you can choose the location. Top left, center top, top right. For me, center right works real nice. I'll leave it like that. And then you can arrange how you want those items to be displayed. I'll choose the vertically. So they look something like this in center but vertical aligned. And then choose this option show icons after post. So Facebook, Twitter, email and Pinterest are free one. For this you need to get the premium version but I just leave it like this. They are already enough. And we already have WhatsApp, Telegram and Instagram on the right side here. So I leave everything like this and then I click on save. There are more options here. I can suggest you to leave everything like this. They are optional, not important. And when I go to my blog, I refresh the page. You can see we have this beautiful icons here. And for the blog post also, if somebody click on the blog post, you can see this how blog post look like. And here we have this action, share on Facebook, tweet, follow us. Guys, I hope this video is useful for you. I am 100% sure if you use this design, your ads and revenue will gonna increase and you will have more user engagement on your website. So please, if you are using the NetPress theme, follow this tutorial, it might take some minutes, but you will have really nice blog website with higher user engagement and higher AdSense revenue. Please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and share this video with somebody that really helps the channel grow. And if you want to watch a detailed video, how to create an e-commerce website, check out this video on the screen. And if you want to know how to create a free website using blogger.com, check this other video on the screen.